panties and uncles welcome back to our page today we are heading out to stanford park mm. it's been a recommendation that i've gotten for a while now but today the weather was predicted to be a scorcher so i thought that hey you know this was the day we we're gonna check it out and let me tell you stanford park is now right up there on the list of things to do on a hot day I gave Bob's the reins for a minute. Check it out. Here we are passing Memorial Gardens, which is on our way to the destinations, and I thought it was a really nice view. But here we are at Stamford Park. It's only four stops away from Ashton, so really close um, and beautiful. Beautiful. If you love nature, you love Stamford Park. So many different kinds of trees. The park is huge. The park is so huge. Look at that map. Oh my god, it's 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 so huge. I felt like I was walking forever to get to the part that we went to. It was a long walk on a hot day, but it was a beautiful walk. And I think Bob's really enjoyed it. She was looking around, she was really fascinated, and um, there's so much different areas that maybe I'll get to one day, but today we kind of just made a beeline for where we were headed to, which was the kids play area. And then we stumbled upon this bird sanctuary, which was just on the, on the way. What did chicken say? What did chicken say? Yeah. Come look at it chicken. After the birds, we continued along our journey. We did pass the cafe. There is a cafe, but I can't tell you much about it because we didn't go inside, so I have no idea. But look at that crowd. There was no water flowing in the splash pad when we got there, so Bob decided she wanted to go on the swings. Um, I'm glad there wasn't any because she wouldn't have gone anywhere else to try anything else. <laughs> yeah, would think she knew where she was going, right? First time she was here. No, keep your dress on. Keep your dress on. She she is so fearless. Like she just jumped up in there. It was too big for her. And she was supposed to slide on a pole, but I had to help her on the pole so I couldn't videotape it. But while we were in the sand pit, I noticed that the splash pad was on again, the water was on. So we ran right over and my girl had no fear of just jumping right in. She was a little timid at, of the water at first, but um, then she you, you'll see when she gets more used to it.
Bubs has absolutely no problem running up to kids she doesn't know, trying to play with them. And most of the children were friendly, but most of the children were a lot bigger too, so they didn't really want to play with a little toddler. But she, you know, she found people who wanted to play and she had fun and she kind of just did her own thing, which is what I love about her. She does not need anyone to play. She will play by herself and she will be quite content to play by herself. She had a grand time. So here's some footage of her just running around doing her thing. She kept trying to pull me in and honestly by the end of the by the end of the day I was really wishing that I did um, dress to get in the water but I didn't bring any extra clothes I didn't bring anything for myself I only catered for her getting wet but next time I am definitely gonna be right in the middle of that thing with her because that water felt so good every time I got splashed it was so refreshing but I love that it was just kids of all ages. Even some adults got in, like closer to the end. A lot of adults got in as well. So I'm definitely getting in next time. But look at this scene. There's ice cream trucks, there's a cafe, there's a sand pit, there's a playground, there's football um, games, there's like hiking trails, I think. I think I saw hiking trails. But there's so many different parts of this park that we have not yet even grazed. But we were quite content with our little discovery today. And I think it went very well. And I know Bubs is definitely going to want to go back. They do turn the water on and off in intervals, which was really good because when they turned it off was how I got Bubs to um, drink some water and try to like just catch Ready, herself. Water. But yes, Ready, water. You yes, you had water. She's having so much fun re-watching the footage. Um, she keeps talking about the water. But as you can see, she was just in her own little zone. But um, yeah, when they turned the water off, was uh, I love that she she was just looking at what the other children were doing and trying to mimic them, and so she was getting more and more into it. So I think the next time I take her back, she'll be she'll be a lot more 
into the whole experience and like doing stuff. So here we are heading over to get ice cream. I got a little slushy and Bubs got an ice cream and we headed back over to our little area to enjoy. They turned the water on mid ice cream so you know what happened. Bubs just abandoned ship. She was gone. The train. I forgot to walk with cash, so we were not able to get on the train ride because that's a cash only, and I had no idea. Leave your towel, leave your towel, leave your towel. Oh, at this point, I was really tired of standing up, so I just sat down and washed up. But this little girl got an extra battery because she, she didn't, she just don't care. She's just running and running and running. I had to keep begging her to come back and eat her ice cream. Do you see her face? <laughs> you see the ice cream on her face? This child don't care about nothing once she having fun. That's it. That's all, and that's it. But let me tell you, look at what happens next. Oh my God, I, I couldn't catch myself. I dropped the phone and I checked her over. Luckily, she didn't have any cuts. She had a little, you know, a little scrape. But that was it, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Oh God, uh, I can't breathe. I feel like I'm coming from. Oh. Oh. When she fell, I thought for sure that her skin was gone. She was okay. But she was a little subdued for a little while. So here she is singing for me. After the fall, I was able to convince her to go home. I knew she was tired, but as long as she's on the go having fun, she won't stop. But look at what happened. Three minutes into the bus ride, 10 minute bus ride home, and in three minutes, she was out like a light, gone. So guess who had to carry her because it was only me and her. So both bags plus her, I had on me. 
touch oh and this ladies and gentlemen is how we ended the day thanks for watching